differences. So White correctly identified that the space advantage was a real issue. So that's another thing that it might be important in end games. If you have more space, it's often easier to uh, probe your opponent's weaknesses. And it's often harder for your opponent to kind of regroup his pieces effectively. So, so let's do <clears throat> let's do one more example. Let's see which one would be the best. <coughs> okay, let's talk about this one because it's kind of cute. And it's limited material on the board. So this one comes up actually in end games fairly often. You'd be surprised. This one's going to have limited material. So it's going to look fairly simplistic, but okay. So tell me what's going on here. Uh, it's a black to move, by the way. So it's black to move here. <coughs> so what's going on? Is better. Black Knight is trapped. Uh, well, it's Black's move. I don't see how it's trapped. Black has extra pawn yet. <clears throat> you picked a draw. Yeah, <clears throat> the, the the proper result of the game should probably be white's king is better, but black is up a pawn. But black can make black can make white work for it. <clears throat> so, Mr. Tentacle did 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 figure out the right thing, which is. Uh, this knight is in danger of being trapped. So knight c2, knight a3, knight b5 is, is indicated. Uh, black played king d8, and now king d2, knight's trapped. <clears throat> of course it's still a draw, but the knight is trapped. So king c7, king c3, and now the knight can't go back this way, 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 has to go here, knight a2, king b2, knight b4, King b3, and now knight can't go this way, trapped. Can't go this way, trapped. So knight d5 forced, but uh, this is still a draw, of course. So take, take, king c3, king d6, knight b3, e6, king d3, king e7, <clears throat> king f. Oh, sorry, wait. Knight b3. E6, yeah, king d3, king e7, king e3, king d7, king f3, and draw. <clears throat> so, well, e5 not a draw, no, I can play f5. Then you might lose. If I can just get my knight to g4 and attack this guy. So. Not, not a draw, but this is a draw. You just, you just keep your pawns like this, and, I mean, white can never, white can never make any progress. I can't make any so yeah, this is a draw. But you see how tricky it was, because this knight doesn't really look like it's trapped, but it was trapped. So, so this is this illustrates the principle of domination. <clears throat> so it's oftentimes it's especially prevalent in like bishop versus knight endings, where like you know, say you have like a knight on. 
Um, say you have like a knight on a5 or something, and then like you have a bishop on d5, like this bishop dominates the knight. So that was an example of a knight dominating a knight. But oftentimes like a bishop can dominate a knight because you cut off all the knight squares. So that's an example of like a bishop dominating a knight. And that's actually... <clears throat> that's actually...